Hello and welcome to the COVID-19 Surveillance Dashboard. To support the planning and response efforts for the recent coronavirus outbreak, the Network System Science and Advanced Computing Division of the Biocomplexity Institute at the University of Virginia has prepared a visualization tool that provides an alternate way of examining data curated by Johns Hopkins University CSSE and by our division. Note that we plan to curate additional data and we'll update the dashboard as we do. The dashboard has basic GIS map exploration tools for zooming and selecting, which are displayed on the upper left of the map panel. A click on the map will bring up an information box with data specific to that region. The legend on the bottom left of the map panel will show you the number of cases for each region. These are color coded based on the type of incidence data and then shaded to show severity. You can choose the type of data you'd like to see using the three colored buttons in the far upper left of the screen. Confirmed cases, deaths, and recovered cases. Just to the right of these buttons, you'll find the date box. This is a key feature of our dashboard, allowing you to look at both current and historical data. For instance, what if you need to know what the number of cases were on February 9th? With two clicks, that historical data is available for you. Also note the timestamp. From here, you can tell when the last data for that date was updated to our dashboard. Note that the data table gives more specific information as to the most recent data for a particular region. There are two search options above the data table. The search box is helpful when you're not sure if the place you're looking for is included in our dashboard, or even if you can't remember the exact spelling of the location. By entering the first few letters, our table will populate with matching place names. But notice that the map is unchanged by this search. In comparison, the query box provides more robust information. Hover over the information button to take full advantage of the capabilities of the query. We've heard a lot about the province of Hubei, but what provinces are geographically close to Hubei that should be monitored for disease spread? Watch the table update as I click on each province surrounding Hubei. To select multiple provinces at once, hold the Command key on the Mac or the Control key in Windows while clicking. To deselect an area, hold the Shift key and click again. The data can be sorted within the table and then exported by clicking the CSV box. Now suppose you need the incidence data for Germany and France on February 10th. Simply select that date on the calendar, enter the country names in the query box, select query, and the table will populate with the relevant historical data. This video is meant to give a quick overview of the capabilities of our dashboard. Of course, the best way to get a feel for it is to try it yourself. Be aware that our dashboard is constantly improving and evolving, and so the interface might look a little different from this video, but be assured the functionality will be the same.